Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glamper Camper. We are headed to our favorite nursery of all time, Summerwind's Nursery. And I want to get a tree and the tree that I really want, I believe it's called a Big Jim Loquat. So let's go see if they still have any in stock. Well, we just got here. Let's see if they've got any Loquats in stock. First, we got to grab a cart. I get distracted so easily when I'm on a mission here. Look at that Peruvian lily. That is so beautiful. But this is what we came for. Here's all the fruit trees. Look at this funky thing. An orange lime. Never heard of that. But down here is where the tropical stuff was. Oh, I see them right there. Okay, so I want to get one of these funky ones. So I want, they have a loquat right there, but it's the gold nugget. I also looked at these two, that sapote looking thing. That is funky. Then they've got a guava. I wonder what these are right here. Mexican guava. That is a huge tree for only 70 bucks. All of these are the same price and they are significantly smaller. So that's a Mexican guava. Doesn't have a tag that says how big it gets though. So after a quick Google, I found out it gets 30 feet by 30 feet, which definitely is not doable. But over here, there's this really pretty really really pretty patio tree and it is called the pineapple guava and it only gets eight feet tall five to six feet wide so that's kind of a great size and it's only 59.99 and look at the blooms i mean isn't that beautiful and it's self-fertile. It doesn't require an extra pollinator and it needs full sun. That's a very great option. Now, these ones right next to it have similar foliage, but they're shorter. Oh, they're the same tree. But I mean, that is a big tree for the price. I think that's a pretty good option, but let's look at these other tropicals over here. So I like these, but that gets 30 to 50 feet tall. This strawberry guava gets 10 to 20 feet. Not as pretty as that tree we just looked at. And I really like the structure, like the leaf shape of low quats. But this one gets up to 30 feet tall. And then up here, they've got a chermoya. But it gets 15 to 20 feet tall. So I really think that we are going to go grab that super beautiful tree right over there. Let's go get it. Okie dokie, this is the one Xena picked out. And this is a Caribbean Dreams pineapple guava, and it's a Nazimetes pineapple guava. So we are going to get this and go plant it. I guess we're also gonna look around too in case there's anything else we want. We did see these really kind of funky other fruit trees, this is a Jujube Lang, but these ones for the same size trees, 120 bucks. So like I said, I mean, this is a steal for only 60 bucks. I'm pretty excited about that. Then they also have these persimmon trees, banana trees, avocados, which I already got an avocado. So yeah, let's keep shopping. I have one of these old Mexican prickly pears. 
that is a great price that's actually way less than i paid so definitely check one of those out if you have room i really want more um prickly pears but to be honest i have like no more room because they get so big i'm thinking about ordering some like little miniature cold hardy ones online look at how fun all of these look like look at that one These were 50% off the last time we were here too, but doesn't look like many people want them. The only reason I don't want one is because they're only rated zone 10 and we are zone 9B. So you'd kind of be risking if they could survive. Oh, I really like that little fence they put up. That's new over there. Ooh, what is this thing? That is funky. But yeah, really, this is going to be really crazy probably sounding to most people. The reason me and Xena are doing this is because we have a cat that we are going to be burying under it. That burrito sedum is really pretty, but I have not had very good luck with succulents. But so, okay, you can agree with me or you can disagree with me. Animals were given... To humans by God. He put them on this earth for us to take dominion over them. And I'm totally fine with eating animals. I'm totally fine with honoring their bodies in the form of hunting. But I mean, to have an animal like a cat that I'm sorry, but all cats I have met are bred and um, like they are made by humans bred specifically for our enjoyment. So, to neglect them, and then when they die, to um, not want to take, I don't know if the word is responsibility for them, is just kind of um, terrible to me. So, we have a cat, and I just want to um, honor it, and give it the best um, situation possible. God created this cat, and put this cat in my life. And me and Zena would like to give it a proper burial and we'd like to honor it with this fruit tree. So that is the whole reason we're doing this. I know we're kind of weird. Have you guys ever seen a Hong Kong orchid tree? The bloom is really, really pretty. Well, so far we're not seeing anything that we um, want. But the more and more I look at this tree, the more I cannot wait to get home and plant it. Apparently, you can eat the petals. And they're super, super sweet. An employee just told me that. But I am crazy, crazy, crazy excited. And then look, they have cute little apples, which I've tr tried apples before. Did not have good luck. But they also have plums and little peach trees. I've tried peach trees before. Again, I didn't have luck. They've got blackberries, all sorts of beautiful stuff to plant right now. God, I pray that all of the animals you have put on this earth are treated with the utmost respect and that none are neglected. I pray that all of the pets, all the cats and the dogs and whatever else people have as pets are treated in the best way possible and that they live the best lives possible. I pray that um, I was honoring this cat today. It is one of your creatures and I just wanted to give it a proper burial. And I'm not sure if pets go to heaven, but I pray that you or its soul can someday meet again. I pray this in your name, amen. Mr. Kitty has been peacefully laid to rest. Look at how beautiful that tree is. Well, this pineapple guava might be the prettiest blooming fruit tree I have in my garden. Except for 
Maybe the passion fruit Frederick is a little bit prettier. The ground is, I'm guessing the ground might settle a little bit. It's a little squish squish. Hopefully that dries out. I had purchased extra soil that I was going to pack in around the bottom, but I made the hole so deep to fit the cat that I really did not want to um, add any more soil or else I would have quite the mound here. And I wanted to make sure that Mr. Kitty was deep in the ground. But yeah, so I just put the cat down in there and it was wrapped in a towel. Then I put a little bit of soil down, then the tree on top, then packed it around with soil. Like I said, the soil might settle. So if it does, I'll just add some more dirt down and around where I was just stepping. Well, if you liked this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you see the next time me and Xena upload a new video. And I hope that this video, not that I'm trying to sh like publicly shame anyone, but I just hope that this video um, inspires people to take responsibility for the animals that are either theirs or stray animals that they um, feed and give water to and care for. I just hate to see any of God's creatures being, um, I don't know if the right word is wasted or if it's neglected, but I cannot even imagine anything like that happening to Xena and then me just not caring about it. Get out and enjoy what nature has given us through food. Get out and enjoy what God has given us. And get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one.